hello everybody. Welcome here. Hello. Make sure you some of you know me and some of you don't. And um, you know I use sign language and I don't understand if you talk to me. I, I won't understand you. But this is my wife and she will interpret for me so you can understand me as well. So this is our business here. We are entering our fourth year and six months. 4.6 <laughs> and with our state license and we are a manufacturer of goat cheese we sell primarily to um, direct sellers and who then sell to various uh, marketers vendors food stores whatnot and our business has been growing this past year which is great we manufacture several varieties of cheese. One of our weekly staples is Chev that we're making now, or Chevra. Um, ricotta. Emmental. Gruyere. Gouda. Brie. Those are our main six cheeses that we make. And we have several other varieties that we occasionally throw in there, in the mix. So right now, uh, I brought out a sample of some of the cheeses. So this darker one with the rind, it's a little bit more yellow in color, is the Gouda. I'll put it in the middle because I'm just... <laughs> My hands are clean. <laughs> <laughs> so because in there wrapping cheese, my hands are clean. Uh, this is the the Gruyere. It has a, 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 a few holes in it. You'll see that's from gas escaping. And then there's this. And he thinks this is the Emmental. He's not sure. <laughs> I don't think it's the Emmental because Emmental looks more like that, but it tastes really good. <laughs> I, I look at the texture to tell what kind of cheese it is, and then based on taste, he can't taste it right now. That's why he can't tell me for sure. No. Um, and goat milk is more is white, and so cheese is usually white in color. They add cheddar. To cheddar, they add a color, so we don't add any color to the cheese. So the cheese is white or maybe an off-white. Do you want to? Are there any questions about how to make cheese? Any questions? Anything you all are interested in? Is there any cheese you can't make from goat's milk? hard to make. Um, you need to make sure you have a dough that produces a lot of butter milk, of, you know, butter fat, so that you have a lot to, to get. It's just harder. I mean, they, they, do, they do goat butter. What were the other two you said? Oh, the, the, the kind of goats that have like Sonnens and Nubians. And who was that? Who did you say? Toggenbergs. Pogs. <laughs> so those have a lot of butter fat. You can get more cream off of them. Easier. You have to still have a separator for that. Um, and you can make you can make goat butter. La Mancha's not so much. You know, Nike's not as much as some of the other breeds. Um, I think uh, like cream cheese, anything that uses cream in it as a, a, one of the major ones, just because you have to separate it and get so much. Whereas cow milk just separates so naturally, it's easier to use cow milk to do that. I wasn't going to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked this before. <laughs> Thank you. 
and it's just more, it's not so much hard to do, but then you have to buy added equipment, which is an added expense, and that makes the cheese more expensive. And those cheese separators, oh my goodness, have you seen them at Jeffers? Uh, not cheese separators, um, uh, cream separators. Oh my gosh, so expensive. So you all know basically how cheese is made, because people always ask, you know, it's, it's all temperature, the culture you add, and... And there are a, a variety of cultures. That flavors the cheese. So what, what you add in that, I mean, this is all goat milk, all from the same goat, and it's all different cheese. Fascinating. And one more thing I wanted to say is Parmesan. He makes a lot of Parmesan. That's really good. That's really good. Um, he has some Parmesan. He'll bring it out. That's a drier, harder cheese. It's really good. Um, any questions? You all are going to try making cheese at home, right? Because you can do that. <laughs> it's so easy. You know, you order from New England Cheese Making Company, and they're awesome. Um, Lance, um, and there, I got to tell you, some of these larger companies are really nice and friendly. He calls up and he'll say he has a problem. Like it won't curd up or um, dairy connection. <laughs> you call and ask them, and he'll they'll say, "Well, try to use this culture or th that culture." They've been very helpful. And every formula is different for the cheese. And and one of our biggest mistakes is we thought going from a small batch and that amount of culture, you just double it or triple it for a large batch, and we were totally wrong. <laughs> and so his cheese wasn't curding up. And, you know, curd is when the, the, the whey separates from um, the, the harder particle of the cheese. And... Um, so he was getting, it was real grainy, like these little balls, and it wasn't hard. Come on. You got it. She's screaming. She's in heat right there. She's screaming. You are ruining my deal. <laughs> A lot of people have requested this many times. <laughs> I'm working on it, guys. Yeah. Yeah.